plan if we can have such a thing um I, whoa i'm heading for two places a town called luca which is supposed to be like a walled city and P pisa where yeah you got the leaning tower of uh which is also by the seaside i've been told so that's the plan Let's see how far we get today oh yeah this is a fun corner look at the state of the bloody road here on a corner yeah you can hear this bike all the way over the village and the valley. But the locals don't seem to mind. Well, no one's said anything yet. The cyclists here, they, they must be well fit. You always see them going up these bleeding hills. Gosh, I get a bit puffed out doing that. Look, another shrine there. I like the shrines. I think the country's Roman Catholic, or was. Olive trees. I was told they harvest the uh, olives around, um, I think, December time. And they're green olives. Yeah, they are Pesha. Oh, there's that SO petrol station. It's self service only. I spent 10 minutes there last night trying to get petrol. It spat my card out and swore at me in Italian, I think and uh, no petrol it's worse than a rubik's cube that one so uh hopefully come across another petrol station soon there's the old abandoned derelict factory or something i wonder what happened to that what they made there look at it bit run down isn't it where's bleeding neutral then i'm oh, gonna say oh here it is yeah Just pull over here a minute. It's not a bus stop. See that building there? Up at the top it says Anno V1. Now I don't do Roman numerals. I must have been looking out the window when they taught that at school. But I'm reliably told that that is the year 06. And you can see that building could not possibly have been built in the year 06. And what it is, they had this guy called Mussolini and the power went to his head a bit. Um, like it does with a lot of dictators, don't know how that happens. And he decided that from the moment he got like being a dictator, that's when the calendar started. So uh, I guess from 1944 onwards or whenever he took over, that was it. And so that was built in 06. Oh, probably then that was built in 1944 on his calendar. Ah, whatever happened to Mussolini? <laughs> Here's the thing, time to go. Let's find some shade. I'd better set Google Maps if I'm lucky. Luca. Let's see if it knows Luca. Start. It's 19 kilometres, so it's hardly uh, a trip to the Antarctic, is it? It said take the Ruda, I think it was the Ruda Garibaldi, which is a biscuit, as we know. I think he nodded. I'm, I, I, I had the feeling that they, they don't nod to each other in Italy, uh, unless they're like on those BMWs and they're, they're tourists they're touring around Europe but I'm not sure whether the locals uh, nod to each other we certainly don't nod at scooters do we <sighs> oh I've got right away haven't I I think I have yeah let's go up here it gave me a salute I wonder what that means oh good there's no one up my arse no mirrors you see olive trees oh well that is Property is cheap as chips round here because people, the younger people especially, and, and that have all deserted. Even holiday homes, you know, people bought them ages ago and they can't sell them. And they, oh, there's a petrol station, bloody hell. Never mind. There'll be another one. Yeah, they can't sell them, so they, they just leave them. Overtaken. I was a bit daft, overtaking me while I was going past a cyclist, trying to be kind to the cyclist I was. Oh, so the, the white line doesn't matter then. Whoa, fuck, he nearly fishtailed it then. Oh, it's shut. The 
this one looks good. Is it pay it pump? Oh, it is sort of. Right. Well, let's see. I think I've only paid for that five litres at 7.98 euros just over five litres. Bloody hell, it's tricky here, isn't it? I got robbed on the way down. It came up on my bank statement. One bloody service station charged me 139 blooming euros for petrol. I can believe it. Nothing I'll do about it. It's on a debit card. Stuffed I am. Be there before you know it. Visor down, it's so bright. Uh, uh, I'm light sensitive, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. oh shit. I do keep forgetting which side of the road to drive on. I've been here a while, I should learn. I'm happier now, I've got some petrol. Oh, don't, stop moving, stop moving! I didn't want to think it, but I do think Italian drivers are um, quite sketchy in the way that they drive. Uh, they come right up your ass, or, uh, even on motorways. They, they seldom indicate, and they're very fond of using a horn. Yes, I've been horned many a time on my way here. Oh, there's another petrol station. That's it. It's not exactly a famine, is it? See, no, nobody indicates to come off a roundabout. I don't know why. I mean, that is useful to the other drivers waiting, isn't it? So I guess if you want to pass a bike test or a car test easily, come and do it in Italy. Well, why not? Oh, wow. We're here, <laughs> the walled city of Luca. I want to park near to the centre. See this tower I've come to see. Ooh. That sort of worked out, didn't it? Now, can I get a bike in here? Uh, I'm going to try and squeeze it in there. He's taken up all that room. Oh, he's French. Isn't that nice? Let's see what we can do. I don't want to... I don't want to... Yeah, he can get out there, can he? Super Tineers. They're used to adventure riding, Super Tineers, so he could go across the pavement. Excuse me? Yeah. I'll move mine across a bit so you can get your... I just wanted to let them out, you know, so they yeah. can get out. What do you think? Well, I... I he is French. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're all right there. Yeah? I'd say mine's... I'm only going to look at the tower, so it won't be that long. Um, Are you going to come all the way down on it? No, I'd, I'd just come from, I don't know, about 20 kilometres away. Oh, yeah, I'm go on, on the way to pizza. Pisa. Pisa, yes. yeah. 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 So I thought I'd stop here, look at the tower, and then go down there. Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably I've got a load of luggage on, soft luggage. Oh, that's yours, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's the monkey bike. Oh, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How far you come? From home. Really, yeah? Yeah. Well. <laughs> oh, well. Um, yeah. How many stops? I left on Sunday afternoon. I got yeah. here yesterday. Oh. So. And how's it been? Yeah, it's been absolutely fine. Yeah? Yeah. Well, First thing that went wrong yesterday was when I missed the turn on the well, sat nav and I ended up going up the motorway about 17 miles to get off again. Yeah. That's the first thing that went wrong, so. I, I've, I've got a TomTom, -tom, but I'm not using it at the moment. I'm, I'm using bloody Google, and she comes so late in with the uh, turns some of the time. Yeah, she's terrible. Yeah, that was the trouble with me yesterday. I've, well, I've got a TomTom, uh, -tom and that's uh, it's just too late on that one. It was just cool. And uh, I'm going down to Sardinia. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh, good on you. Oh, at least you've got a petrol tank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I thought I'd bring that just in. I have used it once, where it started to get a bit low. Um, Is it, does it vibrate or what? It's not bad at all. Though. Yeah? It's quite smooth. Yeah. Yeah? That's like a sewing machine. Yeah, I mean, this is yeah. probably, yeah, you'd probably say this this was really by yeah. comparison to, especially like the older bikes, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's lovely condition, isn't it? Oh, well. Yeah, well, nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah nice to meet you. And yeah. safe, yeah. safe riding. You're the first yeah. Place. Piper I've seen down here since I've been. So. Well they don't yeah they don't seem to nod to each other here. No. <laughs> Out on the motorways in that. So they might some yeah. of them will drop their foot off the peg but uh yeah. oh well. I'm not supposed to be going on the motorways over here with that. Oh aren't you? But I have been. Yeah it's yeah. too small. Bloody toll charges. I did have the coppers come past me and they didn't they didn't look. 
yeah. they just carried on so I think because it's got all the luggage on it, it looks bigger than it is <laughs> that's true yeah of course the car the, the car driving coppers they won't know one bike from another will they no no yeah if you had a, a motorcycle copper I bet he'd know that, that yeah, was only a yeah. 125 but, but he'd still let you go probably yeah I'd have to say what <laughs> <laughs> Find a bit of ignorance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, nice, nice, and nice speaking to you. Yeah. Wow, he was really intrepid coming all the way from England on that little monkey bike and heading off to Sardinia. I've only done 20 kilometres today. Anyway, let's go off and find this tower. It's supposed to have trees on the top of it. Well, there's the tower. I, I'm not going to go up the tower. Um, I've got all my bike gear on. I'm a bit hot, um, and I've been up high before. But it's very nice. Very nice to look at. And there's a bit of a queue. But how do you get trees to grow on a tower like that, eh? And that's convenient. There's a souvenir shop right by it. They think of everything, don't they? You see that Roman graffiti? Bit Monty Python, isn't it? Well, I think this is where I'm going to end the video now. I don't want to make it too long. Um, and I'll probably make about three videos in total of my time in Italy. So hopefully see you in the next one if you've enjoyed this. And I'm going to say cheerio and thank you very much for watching right to the end. Cheerio. Cheerio.